four more questions from the chapter nutrition let us see the questions the first question is explain the mechanism of photosynthesis photosynthesis is the process by which the green plants in the presence of sunlight prepare carbohydrates by obtaining carbon dioxide from atmosphere and water from soil there are three steps involved in photosynthesis step 1 in the step 1 the solar light is trapped by chlorophyll in step 2 photolysis occurs by splitting the water molecule to enhance the light trapping this is called as photolysis as a result of photolysis oxygen is released along with some protons and electrons oxygen is released out of the atmosphere whereas protons and electrons are utilized to convert the solar energy into chemical energy such as atp and nadph step 2 results in the formation of energy rich compounds atp and nadph the next is step 3 in step 3 the carbon dioxide is reduced to carbohydrates by utilizing the energy currency whatever we have said till now atp and nadph this is the step 3 so the step 3 involves the reduction of carbon dioxide into carbohydrates with the help of atp and nadph now let us see the next question look at the picture and answer the following questions there is a diagram given over here followed by some questions we have to answer these questions now let us see the questions the first question is name the diagram and label the parts sometimes some of the parts will be indicated as x y z or a b c we have to write the names of x y z or a b c or whatever it is given here i am labeling all the parts i am giving the names of all the parts of this diagram so the answer is the diagram is chloroplast the different parts are outer membrane inner membrane thylakoids granon stroma so as i have already said sometimes there are some parts indicated like outer membrane may be indicated as x inner membrane may be indicated as y grana may be indicated as z then we will have to write x is outer membrane y is inner membrane as such now let us see the next question explain the structure of this diagram briefly we have already said that it is a chloroplast chloroplast is covered with two membrane outer membrane and inner membrane and there are some stacks of thylakoids which form the grana this is the light this contains the light harvesting system these are interconnected with the lamellae and there is fluid like structure known as stroma which contains all the enzymes required for photosynthesis let us see the next question regarding chloroplast where are these organelles found these organelles are found in all green parts of the plants especially the leaves the next question regarding chloroplast is what is the main function of this organelle we already know the process of photosynthesis takes place in chloroplast by which the carbohydrates are synthesized now let us go for the next question this is also a diagram based question look at the diagram and answer the following questions there is a diagram given with amoeba obtaining food we have to answer the questions which are followed by the question the first question is what does this diagram indicate this diagram indicates the nutrition in amoeba the next question what is the shapeless organism in this diagram the shapeless organism in this diagram is amoeba let us see the next one what is the structure that is used to get the food pseudopodia it enhances its pseudopodia surrounding the food so answer is pseudopodia the next question explain the intake of food by this organism briefly 
When amoeba finds its food, it stretches its pseudopodia and surrounds the food. Then it forms the food vacuole which is engulfed into the cell and digests it. These are the diagram based questions regarding amoeba, nutrition in amoeba. Now let us go for the next question. Look at the diagram and answer the following questions. This is an experiment based question. There is a diagram given with an experiment setup. We have to answer the questions which are followed. Let us see the first question. What is the aim of this experiment? The main aim of this experiment is to prove that carbon dioxide is necessary for photosynthesis. Next, what are the materials required for this experiment? We can see the diagram and write like potted plant, wide mouthed bottle, potassium hydroxide, split cork and iodine. The next question is, how are the apparatus arranged? A long leaf is selected from the potted plant and inserted it into the wide mouthed bottle through the splitted cork. And of course, potassium hydroxide is taken inside the bottle. Now let us see the next question. What is the chemical used in the bottle? Why is it used so? The chemical used in the bottle is potassium hydroxide, KOH. It absorbs carbon dioxide. It means it reacts with the carbon dioxide and makes it unavailable for the leaf. So that we can prevent the carbon dioxide for the leaf to perform photosynthesis. So that we can infer whether it is requirement or not. The next question. What did you observe at the end of this experiment? The part of the leaf which is inside the bottle did not turn bluish black. Whereas the part of the leaf which is outside the bottle turned so. The next question. What was your inference from the above observation? The leaf inside the bottle is prevented from the carbon dioxide and it could not perform photosynthesis. So the leaf could not turn its color. It is proved that carbon dioxide is necessary for photosynthesis. This is actually the, this is the actual inference which we get from this experiment. The next question. After iodine test, which part of the leaf turns blue black? Why? So the part of the leaf which is outside the bottle performs photosynthesis because it is provided with all the factors such as sunlight, carbon dioxide, water, etc. So it turned blue black. But the part of the leaf which is inside did not turn because it is prevented with the carbon dioxide. The next question, uh, another diagram based question. Look at the diagram and answer the following questions. This is another experiment where we, need, we prove that some gas is releasing. What is the gas is releasing out from the plants during the process of photosynthesis. Now let us see the questions. The first question is what is the aim of this experiment? The main aim of this experiment is to prove that oxygen is released during photosynthesis. Remember many students generally write this is an hydrilla experiment. We should not say that it is an hydrilla, it is hydrilla experiment. It is not the hydrilla experiment. It is the experiment to prove oxygen is released during photosynthesis. So never write hydrilla experiment. Write the experiment to prove oxygen release during photosynthesis. The next question, how are the apparatus arranged? We have to write the arrangement of apparatus very briefly here. We have placed the hydrilla plants in a short stemmed funnel and kept it in a beaker of water. Inverted a test tube with full of water on the stem of a funnel. The next question, what precautions to be taken during this experiment? We have to take several lot of precautions such as water level in the beaker must be above the stem of the level. Two, prevent the escape of oxygen at the end of the experiment. The test tube must be full of water without air bubbles prior to the experiment. So before the experiment starts, the test tube must be full of water without any air bubbles. The next question, what is the gas accumulated in the test tube? The gas accumulated in the test tube is oxygen. How do you test the accumulated gas and interpret it? A glowing matchstick is inserted into the test tube. It bursts into flames. With this, it is proved that oxygen is released during photosynthesis because oxygen is Oxygen enhances the flame. The next, let us see the next question. 
write the differences between light reaction and dark reaction now take light reaction and dark reaction in a table light reaction takes place in the presence of light whereas dark reaction does not depend on light we should not write dark reaction takes place in darkness or absence of light we have to note that dark reaction does not require light it occurs both in light uh, both under the light and darkness the second point is it takes place on the grana the thylakoid membranes it occurs in strom dark reaction occurs in stroma and when it comes to light reaction the end products are oxygen atp and nadph whereas the end products of dark reaction are dark reaction is glucose in light reaction photolysis takes place but in dark reaction it does not involve any photo kind of photolysis reactions in light reaction the sunlight is trapped whereas in dark reaction the sunlight is not trapped instead we can also write the carbon dioxide is reduced in dark reaction